She-Hulk Episode 3 wraps up one case of the week and completely unveils another as its focus and direction starts to take shape. If She-Hulk has proven anything with Episode 3, it's that it's willing to try something new. I gotta admit though, bringing in Megan the Stallion was a hurricane of cringe. Like, it just felt so out of place. And it's not because we're bringing in a celebrity into the Marvel Universe. I mean, when we saw Elon Musk in Iron Man 2, that felt natural. It didn't stick out or feel forced. Like, hey, here's Elon Musk, everybody. Let's pause the movie real fast and focus on Elon Musk. But Megan in this, it was so cringy. I did think, however, that this episode did a good job of highlighting the sheer ridiculousness of the MCU to a normal party with zero interest in being a part of the cosmic level supernatural events. Jen Walters has absolutely zero interest in being an Avenger or dealing with mirror dimensions or the Sorcerer Supreme. Matter of fact, if she had her way, she wouldn't choose any of this craziness. Still, she knows she doesn't have a choice and she does her job and takes responsibility. I like that about her character. Overall, honestly, I like this episode. Y'all know when it comes to the Abomination and the Hulk, I, like many others, have had very strong opinions and disapproval over both characters' evolution in the MCU, if you want to call it that. But actually, to me, Blonsky wasn't that bad. I mean, sure, I liked him way more in Shang-Chi. He actually seemed like he was a upgraded threat from the 2008 Hulk movie, but I mean, he wasn't that bad in She-Hulk. I still like the character, and we know he's gonna be on the Thunderbolts team. See, some of y'all may have a problem with Blonsky's more calm type demeanor, but honestly, I think that anybody who has a problem with that, I think that you guys really just need to hush up and be patient. This could all be an act. This could be a big setup for a superb, badass comeback. I'm willing to wait and find out. Cause, again, we got a little taste of him in Shang-Chi. And all y'all was excited and happy. So we know he can fight and be a savage beast when he needs to. She-Hulk definitely has its problems. Like, being too comedic at the wrong times. It's like, this isn't a scene I'd have the typical Marvel humor in if I was in charge. In real life, this is not something that would be funny. Bad guys wouldn't be this stupid. This would not be a comedic thing. That's one thing I get sick of when it comes to the MCU. Even a threat isn't taken seriously. I also don't like how this show constantly attacks the male audience. I like this show, but I don't love it. This show constantly reminds us, if you're not in love with this character, you're sexist. So basically, we can't have opinions anymore. If I say I don't like She-Hulk, I think that she's dumb, I think that the show is boring and too comedic. But I like Daredevil. I love Daredevil. It's taken much more seriously, and I think Daredevil is just a much cooler character, and I think his rogues gallery is right cooler. Somehow, me saying that makes me sexist. It makes me a misogynistic, male chauvinist, a typical jackass male. Just a typical man. Oh, of course you don't like She-Hulk. You must be sexist. What? That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. So we can't have an opinion anymore? You're telling me if I don't like this character, I'm a male chauvinist. I'm a misogynistic. I'm a typical male sexist bigot. That is the thing I don't like about this show. It constantly portrays men like this. And it's honestly something I have to ignore. Because otherwise, I might not watch it. I just get tired of the constant agenda that they're trying to portray. We're so quickly to talk about men and making men look stupid. However, it's like, ladies, do I need to remind y'all who y'all have on y'all team? Does Amber Heard ring a bell? This is y'all reminder. Are all women like this? Um, I didn't realize at the time, but I think he was using cocaine because it was like there was a jar, a jar of cocaine. As a Marvel show, She-Hulk is pretty good. I like the cameos, I like a lot of the characters, the vibes, I'm looking at it from that point. But, I can totally 100% understand when people say they dislike this show. I get it, 100%. I know that's not what I said in my very first video, but sometimes you really gotta let things play out to get a full perspective. I happen to like it. There are things I don't like about it, but overall, I think it's a pretty good 
series so far. Looking at it from just the Marvel perspective. This episode was all about Jennifer taking control of her own narrative, or at least starting to. And Mill inadvertently teaches her that people are going to talk no matter what. You can either be a part of that, or just be a passive, frustrated observer. Honestly, I hope this isn't the last we'll see of Blonsky in this show, but if it is, that's okay. He served his purpose well. Besides, we still got Daredevil coming up, and I can't wait for that. Guys, this has been my review for She-Hulk Episode 3. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Also, be sure to check out some of my other videos on the channel, and stay tuned for next week. Same Hulk time, same Hope Channel.